Just count on Springfield to fuck some shit up, yo. Yo, I promise y'all, man, these damn optic plates things, it's pissing me off, right? First of all, I ordered the plate damn 90 days ago, right? Granted, the tracking said it was supposed to be here on Wednesday, but it came today. I was somewhat excited, but then I'm not. So let me show y'all something, right? The screws on the damn optics plate is a different thread pitch. How big of a deal it is, I don't know. It just depends. So like me, I had some extra screws from other optics laying around and I could make it work. But for someone who has had specific screws for the optics plate, it's not going to work for them. Then they're going to have to go out and get some different screws. That's just some straight bullshit, man. Straight up. No lie. So check this out, right? These are the original screws. These joints, right? I forget what it is, like a 628 or a 648 or something like that. So when you put the screw in, you see it fits, right? Nice and easy, goes in just right, perfect, right? So you take the screw out. This is the original plate that came with the, the spring fill, right? This is the 13B joint. When you take this thing on screw, same screw I just took out, right? Threads right in there just fine, right? See what I'm saying? Just fine. Now, the new optics plate for the RMR. Check me out, bro. This thing doesn't even go in there. I'm like, come on, Springfield, really? I'm ready to mount my optic in it. The thread pitch is wrong. Wrong. So I'm like, yo, I know I'm not tripping. So as I'm actually trying to put this optics plate on, I literally get a dang on comment pop up on my dang on YouTube channel and someone say they see the same issue. And I'm like, Springfield, y'all got to be doing better than this, right? So I'm going to show you a close up. So if you look right here, these are the original Springfield screws. And like I said, I think it's like a 628 or a 648. I don't remember off the top of my head, but these are the ones that are, that's supposed to work for the original plate and the actual gun, these thread directly on there. Now, this thread pitch, you see the difference? This one with the blue Loctite, this is the one that fits the new optics plate. And like I said, I just happen to have some extra ones laying around so I can make it work. So it wasn't like a big, big deal. But just the fact that who the hell was doing the quality control on this? You know what I'm saying? So look, it goes right in here. No issues, no nothing. But the original joint, like I said, if you look, bro, does not go in at all. It kind of starts and it gets tight and you know it's wrong. You put that thing in and you're going to strip it out. Like I said, this is the original plate that came with the DS. Come on, Springfield. Why y'all doing this to us, man? You can see the difference right here in the thread pitch. Why they made them different, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. Like I said, for me, it ain't that big of a deal because I have some extra screws laying around. But everyone don't have these extra screws just laying around. You know what I'm saying? And when I was figuring out what type of optic that I wanted to put on there, I had already bought the extended screws. You know what I'm saying? And I got that screw thread pitch from the manual so I knew it was right. But how y'all going to switch it up? On the plate. That don't even make no sense, bro. I'm so upset. With Springfield I need to do something about this, man. Something. Y'all need to do something. Everyone talk about Springfield, their quality control. They've been making all these great products. I don't know what the hell is going on with this, man, but they need to fix it, man. But for y'all that don't know, if you just got a new optics plate, the thread pitch is different, man. It's not the same. The shit don't work, man. I'm out, bro. Rob Armstrong.